Cause this is my United States of America And this is my United States of America And this is my United States of America And this, my friends, is why I don't cosplay So, <clears throat> welcome to the fourth edition of Behind the Fuzz, number four I shouldn't say behind the fuzz number four and say fourth edition at the same time, should I? Well, anyway, oh, I apologize if I've been putting off on this for quite some time. Uh, things happened. School started. And plus, I got lazy at some points, you know, just trying to enjoy what was left of my summer before said classes started. Uh, lots of things happened between the last vlog and this one. Uh, I go up to West Palm Beach to see my dad. I go up to Fort Myers to see my sister. I uh, got myself a new girlfriend, and uh, just today, my uh, my mom quit her job, which is uh, a bit of a travesty kind of there, because uh, she had been there for quite some time, and uh, for her to quit like this is uh, quite shocking, so things could get rough for us. But, hey, at least I could say that it's never boring around here, right? Let's jump right into things and uh, talk about something that's been going on with me over at work for quite some time. Every once in a while, when a customer comes up to my register and, you know, they take a good look at me, they say that I remind them of John Heater, or they say that I remind them of Napoleon Dynamite, you know, the guy John Heater played. So I put it out there. What reminds them of me that reminds them of John Heater, a.k.a. Napoleon Dynamite, whatever you want to call him? Because, quite frankly, I fail to see the resemblance. Like, is it is it the, the lips? You know, is it the, the voice? Is it my attitude? I don't know. Like, it, it, it's just weird that I've had this brought up to me more than once. More than once! Like, maybe, t maybe ten times. I don't know. I've lost count. But so many people in the community that I work at in the CVS say that I remind them of Napoleon Dynamite for some reason, and I just don't see why. It obviously can't be the hair. I could never grow a hair to be that long or that curly. And, uh, I don't wear glasses, you know. I, I'm, I, I don't have that kind of vision, so it's definitely not that. Like, maybe it's my lips, maybe it's my facial structure, and maybe it's, uh, my voice, even. Which is kind of weird, because I may have a rather monotone voice, but uh, I don't think that when I regularly speak, I sound like Napoleon Dynamite. Like, if I ever really wanted to sound like him, I could probably, you know, recite a line from the movie, like, oh, Tino, go get your food, you fat lard! You see? That sounded... Well, at least with that impersonation, that sounded a little bit like him, but when I regularly speak, I don't sound like him. Oh, and by the way, concerning my voice, uh, I got a comment on my last vlog from uh, someone who, let me just say, is a concerned viewer, and they left the following comment in my vlog. Oh my god, Mankey, you really need some variation and inflection in your voice. You kind of drone. Like, a lot. Well, feedback is much appreciated as much as the next person, but let me just put it to you like this. I'm not a very social guy. And when I feel like it, then I'll put some more oomph into my voice when the time comes for it. But, you know, that's how I talk. You know, th this is just the kind of way of talking that I grew up with. Like, maybe if I wanted to do something a little extra, like do an impersonation or something, then I'll also do something more. Like, when the time calls for it. Like, when I'm doing a voice acting role, which is uh, becoming very rare these days. But, point is, that's how I talk. I can't change it. I'm sorry. Okay, let's quit the boring talk and move on to something that happened recently, like today. It was announced on multiple websites, like, I don't know, anywhere where you can read about the news and stuff, that Disney has purchased Marvel. And, quite frankly, the reactions that it's gotten on Twitter, on LiveJournal, it's almost like a bomb drop, like an atom bomb. The kind that spreads a mushroom cloud. That kind of, uh, that kind of reaction. 
Now, personally, I found it to be a little bit weird because, you know, Disney's all about, you know, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, while Marvel is all about Iron Man, Spider-Man, Incredible Hulk, Captain America, yada, yada, yada. So the thought of having them in working in the same distinct, I don't know the word, let's just say it, it just feels weird for them to be together that way. Um, but then uh, I read on DeviantArt uh, someone else's take on it about how this isn't exactly the worst thing to ever happen because quite frankly something similar to this happened ages ago which was when AOL Time Warner purchased DC Comics or I guess if you want to say when the WB purchased DC Comics I don't know, it's uh, all tangled up I don't know now, I, I'm, and I'm willing to bet maybe that's kind of the same reaction that uh, we have now happened back then. And I, I just feel maybe this isn't a complete bad thing, you know? Because, let's face it, when, uh, on the other hand, when DC was purchased by AOL Time Warner or Warner Brothers or whatever, we got some good things out of it. Here's one example. Teen Titans. Yeah. Remember that? When Teen Titans was airing on Cartoon Network? That was the shit back then. Not like the crap that they're producing nowadays where they actually have real live shows and they actually sold out Andrew WK. No, we got good stuff like Teen Titans. Not convinced? How about I give you two more examples? Batman Begins and The Dark Fucking Night. I mean, if the DC AOL Time Warner merger never happened, we probably wouldn't even have gotten these movies. Movies that got awards. Yeah. Now look, you're all entitled to have your opinion about this thing, but I personally think some of us out there are making judgments about this whole thing a bit too early. So let's see what comes out of this first before we go out and say that this is the worst thing that ever happened. I mean, yeah, sure, it sounds weird, but, you know, that's what they said when they invented a lot of things, you know, that's what they said when they invented cars, that's what they said when they invented TV, you know, something something new is always going to sound weird to us, so let's just give this a chance, see what we get from this, and then hopefully we'll have some actual good results. Or we might end up getting something that is about as bad, if not worse, as the four kids dubbing of One Piece. Yeah, I had to go there. But that's usually my scale as the worst thing ever, but you get the idea. Okay, running short on time here, so I'll wrap this up. Uh, as I've mentioned multiple times before, I'm doing a special project for uh, Fireball 20 Excel's member section, which I hope will be alright, considering the member section hasn't updated with uh, content in a while. I should probably talk with some of the people behind it to get that updated, but in any case, I'm uh, going to be doing something a little special for this. Uh, let's just say it's a tribute of sorts to uh, another old commercial. It actually involved the wig you saw me wear at the beginning of the video. And uh, I'm trying to uh, make the script, but uh, it's kind of hard to get some of the things that I am going to say in this commercial to rhyme. Uh, my brother had like some kind of a book of uh, all words that rhyme with each other, and I'm trying to find that. So, yeah, uh, I'm trying, trying, just trying to make progress with that. Why does it require a blonde wig? Why does it require things that rhyme? You'll understand when you see it, so. <sighs> well, that's another vlog in the bag. I better hope you all have a good fall, and hope that the rest of us out here will succeed in our endeavors, whether it's with jobs or college or whatnot. I don't know, all that stuff is just boring. Anyway, I must be eating my Taco Bell now, so thank you and good night.